What's up, powerful people? My name is Eli. You can call me Super Kid, and I am here to welcome you to part 7.5 of World of, Hor World of Horror here on Super Kid Plays. Powerful people, if you're excited for this episode, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so you get notified when we put out new content. Powerful people, we gotta get straight into things. The old god is stirring, and we need to find out what that means for us. Dangerous bands of rioters are gathering around that downtown area, please are hopeless. Oh, good. Let's go back to our home. Take the key. Nothing to be gotten there. It's been raining since morning. Alright, well, we can't take a bath because the water's all fucked up. So, let's go. Investigate the curious case of a contagious coma. Curious case of a contagious coma. More and more people fall unconscious and cannot be awakened. People trying to wake the patients up result with them falling into a coma themselves. A whole wing of the town's hospital has been dedicated for the comatose. Is there anything connecting these people and how did this strange illness start? Um, let's check the news reports uh, about this weird disease and try to find the cause before more people fall asleep. Good idea. <laughs> Carefully enter the biology classroom. The room seemed empty at first until you switched the lights on. You gasp in horror lying in a pool of blood as one of the teachers with a fruit knife in their hand. There's a jar of formaldehyde. On the nearest table, mesmerized by the spiral pattern on the sea creature's skin, you step over the dead body and come closer, and then the voices start. What the fuck? Uh, the forgotten specimen. But of course. Um... How many bullets do I have? I can't even tell, like, does it not tell you? An old rifle. I don't see... I don't see where it shows. Whatever. Let's shoot this guy. Okay, so I don't have any bullets. What the hell, man? Why do I have that fucking thing, then? That's... That's some pretty lame shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's some bullshit. Man, fuck this rifle. Why did they give it to me with no fucking bullets, man? What an asshole. I'm <laughs> so gonna die. That was such a... That was so lame. Cigarettes? Huh. Yeah. Let's get the cigarettes. this fucking thing in storage. There we go. Should make us a little bit better, too. Um... I guess I'll rest, even though it's not gonna give us much. It's not as good. Taking it downtown, y'all. Uh, let's chat. Plus five experience minus one reason. Shit. Um, you have to sneak into the hospital and borrow the patient's zero patient zero's information. Okay. While taking an elevator, you get a terrible feeling as if something bad is about to happen. Fuck. That's so bad. Fuck. <laughs> Um, I only have one reason left, y'all. Let's see. Let's forget this. Oh, we still keep that. That's cool. That's good to know. Um, it's too little, too late. I think we have too much doom as well. 
Walking through the hospital corridor, you hear disgusting slurping sounds coming from a closet. Oh, good. Whoa! Vampire enemy, huh? Minus one stamina. Okay. Um, 20 HP. Please hit with all three. Yes! Defeated Bloodsucker. That was the first time I've ever seen that enemy. Um, that was awesome. Oh, fuck yes, dude. Okay. Art knowledge. Folklore studies. Outdoors. Folklore studies, for sure. And another knowledge. So that's two plus two to knowledge. Hell yeah. Um... Let's go investigate downtown. Patient Zero's house seems empty. You should search it carefully. You're right, we should. It's been almost a year since a childhood friend moved away to another city. He left suddenly without even saying goodbye. In a recent letter, he apologized for the disappearance and asked you to remove the furniture from his flat because he wants to sell it. In the envelope, you find a key to his apartment. Search his flat with your flashlight. We got the cursed doll. That could be useful. Maybe not, though. Um, we're so close to losing. We have four stamina, four reason, and 94 doom. But we will carry on. That man dabbled in magic. He found a journal d describing a certain village and instructions for a summoning ritual. It seems he, that he tried to contact a being from the dream realms. Okay, that doesn't actually put an item in my inventory. Okay. A sudden growl coming from behind a corner makes you stop. Oh, what up? You again. I see you all the time, girl. 26 HP. <sighs> Whoa. I could do 30. Please. Please. Fuck yes, dude. Fuck yes. Um... Quarantine wing is guarded closely. You must find a way to sneak through. Okay. Shit. Brain damage. Dude, that's terrible. I don't want that. There it is. Let's hope you find an answer here. You've managed to sneak through the floor, avoiding the police, and finally reach the quarantine wing, where all the coma patients were brought in. Their pulse is slowly weakening and the blood pressure dropping. You must hurry. Complete silence of this place hits you when you reach one of the beds. All the patients are dead. Minus three reason. Holy shit. I mean, that sucks for all those patients. But we didn't fucking die. Shaken, you sneak f out from the hospital. One thing is certain, though, with no sick people, it's the end of this weird illness. Sending B, you get 30 experience. Damn, that's not enough to level up. There's still hope. Minus 4% doom. That's good. Well, that was the final one, y'all. The final mystery. That means we have to head over to the lighthouse. First, we have to see the old god stirrings effect. Winds of plague. Okay, that's the hospital one. Don't really care. Um, we'll go to my home. Take the key. Nothing. 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 Uh, what do we want to wear? Surfs up, yo. Well, I guess this is it. Is there any way? Probably not. No way to get any more stats, right? Can't buy anything anymore. Alright, let's go. Lighthouse, here we come. 
The ominous lighthouse has been closed for longer than you can remember. Let's get in there. Kaboom. We can rest and get 2% doom. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Unfortunately, I think that's all I really feel comfortable doing. Let's start climbing. Following the winding staircase, you are stopped by darkness. A thick cloud, thick black cloud is obscuring your vision and you can swear something is waiting for you inside it. Light your way. Plus 10 experience. Damn, too little too late, I think. Following the winding staircase, you are stopped. Wait a minute. Someone broke into your apartment, stole all the clues. Select the title of a mystery you investigated as the second one. The eels, right? Yes. You rip the newspaper clippings of a case you seem to remember underneath it is a tiny button. You press it, and with a buzz, the gate opens. Plus ten experience. Oh, this is the ultimate opportunist guy. Yep. Takashi-san, we meet again. It's 26 HP. Ooh, dog. I have a 100% chance to hit him. That's enough to kill him. Yes. Yes. Oh, I patched myself up somehow. Trial of blood electricity. Following the winding staircase, you are stopped by a metal gate. The tiny page nailed to the gate explains that opening the gate will require you to grab two metal rods. Using your own body as a natural conductor, you will power up the gate. Plus 10 experience. Fuck yes. You are about to grab the rods when you notice the dials and buttons. You toy with them for a bit before adjusting both voltage and current so it's safe for you to grab them. With a buzz, the gate opens. Oh my god. Uh, quick thinking... I don't know, I wish there was a way to, like, re reduce my doom, but there's not. So there we go. Quick thinking knowledge. You are stopped by a girl wearing dirty black u school uniform. I'm sorry. But I can't let you go any farther. Further, she says, reaching it for her bag. It's too late anyway. You instinctively take a step back. When you notice a knife in her hand, you have to think fast. Damn, minus two charisma. The dark clouds swirl above the lighthouse. Did you arrive too late? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. 99% doom, motherfuckers. For all of you that doubted me. The unnatural fog slowly lifts as, lift, blah, blah, as the unnatural fog slowly lifts, you are relieved and collapse to the floor. Holy fucking shit. I can't believe it. I thought for sure we were fucked. Incoming Doom, 99%. Uh... Egothag. Egothag. Not afraid of this fool. Five mysteries, one new event. No new enemies. Is that true? We've seen that specimen before? It must have been a long time ago. I don't remember that. Three new achievements. That's awesome. That means some new stuff that we could get. Maybe a new character? A new old god? Who the fuck knows? You're gonna have to tune in... Next time, powerful people, for part 8.1 of World of Horror here on Super Kid Plays. I think that uh, we that I earned us a like here on the channel by by winning. Go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell, shower me with praise in the comment section. Um, that was for y'all. That was for all y'all. In the meantime, before the next one, whatever, I'm gonna sign off. 
My name is Eli. You can call me Super Kid. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe. Peace. And love.